Forms will do you absolutely no harms. What is up, people? You read the title of the video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make zero calorie or low calorie chocolate Walden Farm style syrup, okay? Because if there's one comment that I get under most of my solo recipe videos is if I don't have like calorie free syrup, what can I use instead? Well, this is going to be for you, okay? It's practically Walden Farms, just homemade, okay? So, yes, if you haven't liked the video yet, go do that first. Subscribe to the channel, and of course, we are gonna go shopping for the ingredienti you're gonna need for this bad boy. And for this recipe, it's actually been a while since we've been to Dunn stores and we are rocking the Interspar bag, not Dunn stores. So, Interspar, Interspar. Anyway, we are in and let me run through the ingredienti you're gonna need for this Walden Farm syrup. And honestly, you don't need much, okay? Especially from Dunn's. So the first thing is cocoa powder, some xanthan gum, and I guess if you want to be super picky, water is also an ingredient, but we get that from the tap, okay? So those are the three ingredients you're gonna need from Dunn's. Now, of course, there are a few more ingredients that you will need to make this pop. And these are by no means essential, but they do add the cherry on top. So we have a sweetener of choice and then we have our flavor drops, okay? And if you've come this far in the video, I want you to comment down below, a bottle of porridge is in my belly, okay? Everyone is gonna be so confused and just have no idea what's going on. So yes, those are all the ingredients that you're gonna need. You have your cocoa powder, your sweetener, your flavor drops, and your exact... It was at this moment that he knew. Xanth- I knew something was missing! Out of all of the things, how did I forget? I'm coming for you! Oh, here we go, around the corner! Thank God! Oh God, please guys give the video a like, subscribe to the channel because I am trying to bring some interaction into these recipe videos and like stand out from the other normal people there. But yes, those are all the ingredients you're gonna need, okay? And again, this isn't like a revolutionary recipe. I will link down below where I sort of got inspired. There are loads of sort of Walden Farms recipes out there on YouTube. But yeah, like I said at the start, I really do think this recipe is gonna help a load of people out, especially those sort of in Europe who can't really get access to any sometimes uh, low calorie syrup. So yeah, it's a very simple recipe, but nonetheless, just because I know you like them, you know who's coming in, Mr. One Take Kid and the sexy B-roll in 3, 2, 1. Let's get ready to rumble. Mr. One Take Kid is back in action, taking over the Chanel. Hopefully I don't mess up, but I know I will, okay? So yes, as per usual, link will be down below for all the ingredientes and not much, whatever. There's, oh, I've messed up. <laughs> no, oh dear God, that was dreadful. Okay, yeah, there's not many ingredients, but I will go through everything down below. So the first thing you're gonna do is boil a kettle. Then in a little shaker cup, you're gonna put the sucralose, the uh, cocoa powder and the flavor drops into like, I advise a shaker. It's not like mandatory, but if you put a little bit of water in there, it avoids like clumping when you do eventually add it to the boiling water. Okay, so you give that a nice little shake. Here we go. Shake, 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 come on now. Shake it all the time. Shake. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, so it comes out sort of like a paste. Then you're gonna put the boiling water into a pan. Obviously heat that up, make sure it's boiling, and then just pour that into the boiling water. Now this is sort of where you have to act fast. 
Okay, so you get a utensil, you start stirring it, and then you add your xanthan gum. Okay, so you get a little teaspoon, add that in, and now you're gonna have to mix for a while, okay? I'm not gonna lie, it's probably about 10 minutes, maybe even longer, but yeah, you just keep mixing and mixing, and eventually it will go thick. god okay so yeah when it's thick this is what i do a little pro hack so you make your own little funnel and you find your jar look at this absolute game changer thinking on the spot scott so yes cut off the top make your own funnel funnel <laughs> funnel and then you're just gonna pour the mix into your bottle let it cool down before you serve it and uh, look you see it's come out super thick always wear protection when you're lifting that up as well and then just transfer it to your bujail okay shout out miss Keddy, my irish teacher bujail is bottle in irish but that's pretty much it and there we go family an absolute game changer literally took probably about 10 minutes you give it a nice little shake and this is thick guys the xanthan gum really does add that thickness so yes it is unfortunately like sort of a key ingredient but nonetheless if chocolate is not for you this recipe is also super adaptable so of course if you don't have any flavor drops any essence will do so you can see they have like vanilla lemon orange and then like almonds so take your pick if you want to make it more like sort of a custard a bit thicker you can use like cocoa sort of oat or almond milk make it like a pre-workout one and add in some coffee you could make up like a fruity one by blending up any sort of berry into the mix or you know what if there's one thing i do all the time is make up a protein white chocolate version because white chocolate is the key to my heart so yes you can use like half a scoop or even a scoop i mean it's not too many calories of whey protein some uh, white chocolate flavor drops the goat of all flavor drops and just repeat the process and you get like a white chocolatey version of this okay and now onto the final macros that you really want to know for the whole bottle you're talking four protein two carb four fat so 60 calories but realistically no one's gonna have the whole bottle in like one serving so if you divide it by three or four servings you're talking like 15 to 20 calories per serving which is an absolute game changer but you're probably still like well there's probably one hater out there who's like scott it's not zero calorie there's still calories in it look okay compared to most other syrups this is a godsend okay <clears throat> here we go this will put it into perspective hershey's you are talking per 100 mils only what where is it there 258 calories then you're moving on to the next one. Oh my god i'm making a mess here but yes next one per 100 grams 322 and then the final one per 100 grams 315 so ain't nobody got time for that so that is going to wrap up this video hopefully you enjoy it if you try it out please do let me know how it goes a perfect topping for oats pancakes french toast or whatever and a godsend like i said to anyone who can't get their hands on any syrup or walden farms in particular okay so yes if you try it out let me know if you like it tag me in your instagram stories hit the like button subscribe to the channel hope you all have a good day and see you all in the next video Boop.